Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Mallory. And we are joining you again this week from the ropes course, this time on the beautiful campus of Meridian, uh, just to check in and kind of see how things are going. Yeah, so last week we talked about, um, you know, changes that are happening yes. as far as places opening up and mm -hmm. things like that. And mm -hmm. um, going back to the basics, you know, things that we've learned on how to manage our stress and, you know, when we're feeling overwhelmed. And um, yes. I'm wondering, like, how has that been working for you? Yeah, so last week was a tough one for me, right? And mm -hmm. um, uh, But the stuff that we talked about really helped. Uh, I went back to basics, like you said, and, and sort of took a look at the things that we already know about stress management and the things we've already talked about and did my box breathing. And But the big thing for me was I took a, a big step back on social media. Mm. And that helped a tremendous amount. I, I mean, I didn't like get rid of it all together, but I started to break some of those patterns of behavior that I have where I'm just kind of grabbing my phone and I'm not looking on Facebook and I'm getting sucked in. So I, so I stopped doing that. Mm. Uh, and it was so helpful. It really was, that was the trick for me. I really needed that. I feel a lot better this week. Um, but, uh, but I did notice something interesting. So we get in these patterns of behavior, like I was saying, you grab your phone, you look at Facebook. So now when I wasn't doing that in the beginning, there was a void. I was mm. just sort of like, um, what am I supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> so I didn't know if you had any suggestions for that. You know, when, when we're changing any kind of behavior, right, we create these like moments where we're just sort of floundering, like, ah, uh, what do I do now? What do I do with this? <laughs> what I do this moment that I normally fill with this thing I'm trying not to do right so right. what do we do there yeah so I mean we talked about like box breathing and it's mm -hmm. awesome to hear that you're doing some of that um we talked about like mind games and, and yeah. things like that to help manage our stress and things um but I think a really awesome thing that we can do when we have time like that is to practice mindfulness yeah no you're right that that's a really good point I and here's where I struggle this won't surprise you because you know of our differences but um I like when you say practice mindfulness, mm -hmm. right? So I kind of feel like I'm pretty aware. I'm a pretty mindful person. I, you know, I'm kind of in that place more often than not, but I don't really know how to intentionally I practice see. mindfulness. Like, how do I go like, okay, I'm going to be mindful right now. Right. Like, I don't know yeah. what that means. So the, there's like a common misconception and it's like, oh, well, I'm already mindful. You know, how right. do, I'm, I'm already practicing mindfulness. But what I'm talking about is like much more intentional. Um, okay. I would say that I'm a, more of a mindful person anyway, mm -hmm. um, too. But really, you know, basically intentional mindfulness is is all about like taking a step back and being in the present. Um, a lot of times we'll go through our days and it's like a routine. We're doing this, this, this. Yes. Or, um, you know, taking our Zoom calls and doing this and scarfing down lunch, right? Yes. Like that's just what happens. Yes. Um, but a good example of like practicing intentional mindfulness would be next time you eat a really good meal. Um, instead of scarfing it down and the next thing you know, the whole meal is gone, right? Right, um, yeah. Really slowing down when you eat. Like, this is good food, we wanna enjoy it, right? Let's be mindful of it. Um, so, slowing down, uh, smelling, how, how does the food smell? Um, what is it, what's the texture when you put it in your mouth? What does oh, it like taste that. like? Is it spicy, is it tangy, mm -hmm. is there citrusy in it? Um, really like being present and grounding yourself when you're doing an activity. So eating okay. food is a great idea um, or example for that. And it makes you enjoy it, the the, um, the experience much yeah. more. I mean, right? you could even do that with anything. Like oh, right yeah. now while we're sitting here, mm -hmm. like I can hear the, the bugs and the crickets and the trees and yeah. the cars driving by on the road mm -hmm. and smell the freshly cut grass and yeah. feel the sun and like all of that stuff. Yeah. But and it's, you know, practicing yeah. mindfulness like this is shown to really help with uh, relaxation and lower anxiety and, mm -hmm. um, you know, all of these things. So I think it's an awesome technique to do. I love that. And I love uh, doing it on purpose, yeah. right? So like, even if you're the kind of person who's already pretty connected and pretty aware mm -hmm. around you to just kind of say to yourself, like, this is what I'm going to do right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and to do it with intention, mm -hmm. I think just helps us like you said you know savor it just hold on to the moments and enjoy them better yeah. so I like the word savor that's perfect yeah, I like yeah. that. so we hope that you guys go about your week this week savoring the moments mm -hmm. um, and tell us about them in the comments if you get a chance yeah and then of course like always um, if things to get to be too much or you need to talk to someone Meridian is by your side we are open for services so you can always give us a call at 352-374-5600 Take care. Have a great week. Bye.